Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. What is up, boys and girls? This is Scyther4077, and we are playing Darksiders. This is part one. Uh, a couple of people actually asked me to do a playthrough on this, and uh, not only did I listen to them, I also listened to myself because, well, you know, this game is very underrated. I think it's a great game, and a lot of people really haven't played it. I mean, they will be playing it now. Because Darksiders 2 actually comes out August 14th of 2012, which is less than two weeks away. Um, as you can see right here, we're, it, it looks like some sort of uh, meteor shower. Looks pretty deadly. I don't like the looks of this. Whoa, did, did I see something with wings? Well, we'll find out here in a little bit. But uh, like I said, very underrated game. Um, when I first got the demo for it, and I didn't even buy it when it came out. But when I did get the demo for it off the PSN network... I was astonished on how long the demo was. It was unbelievably long. I've never played such a long demo, at least not that I can remember. Um, this game is uh, across, I think, is, and other people have said it, is a cross between Zelda and God of War. Uh, Zelda, as far as the, I think, some of the swordplay uh, aspects of it, and there are hidden chests to find and everything, and there's certain uh, items to find, hidden items. Uh, and the God of War sense, uh, because of the creatures and the, well, kind of, um, you know, uh, mash them up uh, or, you know, mash the uh, buttons that, you know, uh, what, do you, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> uh, hack and slash. Um, basically, you know, I mean, you do have moves. There are certain moves you can buy um, to upgrade your weapons to make them stronger and, and more efficient and everything like that. But... Uh, you also get a, uh, I don't want to ruin anything for anybody if you haven't played the game, because a lot of people haven't played the game, but there are, there's another item that you get that's uh, kind of Zelda-esque, and you'll see later on in my videos and everything. But uh, moving on, that is War. He is one of the four horsemen. Now, of course, right here, you're going to be fighting this guy, okay? If you look to your left, you see you will see a meter... No, no, you will not see a meter. I'm sorry. Uh, but it will come up. Okay. And when you do see that come up, and it'll tell you to hit both the L3 and the R3 buttons at the same time to go into chaos form. It is a great form. It's, you know, you basically turn into this huge demon, okay? And you'll get to do that eventually. But don't do it, okay? Don't do it because otherwise we're not going to be able to get this first trophy of the game. There's a trophy early on, and you can only get it here, folks, okay? You can only get it here. And I will show you where to get it. After we beat this guy, okay, see, uh, left of your, uh, where it says, I'm sorry, it's L1 and R1, not L3 and R3. I was mistaken. I don't know what I was thinking, and I've played this game quite a few times. But, um, 
key thing about this guy is you just kind of kind of dash and move, you know, hit and, and dash. Okay, until you get the circle above his head, and he does a mini little killing killing cutscene. Okay, um, what you want to do is go forward, and you'll see, see why. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Meteor. You are a great piece of rock, flaming rock. Okay, but anyways, once you're done killing these guys, you want to go straight. You want to go to the right. You're going to see somebody chained up, okay? Um, and I, I was standing behind there because I was going to try to kill one of these guys with a vehicle. And you can pick up all kinds of stuff. Par parking meters, vehicles. Um, you pick it up with circle and you throw it with R2. Now, okay, so once we made that right, there's a guy that's chained up. Pick up a vehicle and turn around. Hit the R3 button to aim. And when you see this helicopter go by, aim and hit it with the vehicle. Right there. And that's about right. Just got him. Okay, there we go. And the reason why we did that was to get the open air parking trophy. And like I said, you can only get it in this section. You can't get it in any other sections. I mean, you know, you could always save because there's 10 slots for you to save the game. And you can access it at any time. If you want to access it now, you hit start and you go to data and you can either hit load or save. Obviously, you would hit save, but... Uh, otherwise, it automatically saves for you. And then you can always come back to it later on. Uh, just make sure you don't accidentally overwrite that save, you know. Because, like I said, there's like 10 slots for it, so don't worry. Now, the reason why I'm hitting these guys, and I could, I could be, you know, look, I just picked up the parking meter. The reason why I'm hitting those guys with a vehicle and everything, I'm trying to get a, a head start on another trophy. Although, this isn't really an efficient way to do it, uh, because it's very inefficient, because um, you want to use weaker enemies to throw stuff at. And we will do that later on in the game, and I'll show you where, but I'm just kind of getting a little bit of a head start. If you kill 150 enemies with uh, things from your environment and everything like that, you will get the... Uh, I forget what the trophy's called, but you get a trophy for it. Um... Okay, now you heard that horn in the background. Oh, oh, and we just lost some energy and we lost some skulls, okay. No, that's not good. Son of a... And no, uh, if you're wondering, no, you can't pick up that bus. <laughs> oh, and as you can see, as I'm dashing forward, you want to hit the R button, R1 button to do that. And right now, you pretty much have all of your abilities... So, when you're sword playing and everything like that, if you hit R1 and square at the same time when you're at, uh, after an enemy, you can actually uh, do what's called a... Uh, now, I just drew a blank. Wow. Um, it's, it's like a harpoon um, jab or stab. Just like that. Just like I just did. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. But it's like a harpoon uh, move, okay? Now, keep in mind, when we get to a certain point through here, we are not going to have a lot of our abilities anymore. We're going to have to buy them back. But, uh, talking about hidden items and everything like that, going back to hidden items, I should say, uh, just a few examples would be, um, there are some artifacts that you can find throughout the game. One of them are the champion artifact. There are six of those to find throughout the world. Okay. And there are 20 of what are called champion, or what are called, um, soldier artifacts. Okay. And we will find all of them. We're going to find all of them throughout these playthroughs. Now, that is, anytime you see growth like that, you can climb that. So, it'll give you a clue on what to do. Um, of course, you can traverse ledges. Most ledges he can actually grip onto. Also, um, any, like, cables or, you know, sometimes ropes that, that are suspended. You can traverse across those and everything like that. So you can do all kinds of that. And I just did that, but I cut it out so you didn't get to see it. But you'll see eventually. So I'm waiting for these three creatures to come down so I can... Uh, well, so I can do that. Yeah! I love those finishing moves, the circle moves. Awesome. And, of course, there are, as you notice, that uh, 
uh, we gain, of course you gain something green, which is health, but you also gain, uh, well, it's not actually going to show it yet. So, but there's three different things you can gain, and we'll get into that in the next video. Because it's, it's kind of impertinent right now. Because we're still at the beginning of the game, and, we're, you know, we don't, there's certain things that we don't have yet. For the next video, we will be getting into those. There goes another copter that we couldn't do anything about. <laughs> we don't have anything heavy enough to throw at it if we missed, you know, the first uh, first one. Hey, there's a rope. We slide down. Yay! All right. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alrighty. There's one of those angels. Yeah. And now, of course, it's telling you to press circle next to an object to pick it up. And, of course... Uh, you know, R2 to throw. Oh, and to aim, uh, all you do is, uh, is hold down R2. I mean L2, sorry, L2 to aim, to, to focus on an enemy. And use your right stick to, uh, cycle through different enemies. And it's pretty much standard gameplay of, you know, most games, that's how it is. Okay. Well, like I said before, uh, luckily, well, I think I said this before, and if I didn't, I'm saying it now. Um, you really won't have to worry about missing too much of the storyline because there are subtitles, so you can read. So if you need to watch the video again without my annoying mouth running all, runneth overing, runneth overing, <laughs> run a thing over, you want to say, you can just watch and see the subtitles. In there. But I don't think there's going to be too much this part of the game. It'll be in the next video, I believe. Most of this video is action. Some cutscenes, mostly action, as you can see. Uh, that guy's gonna have a sore throat in the morning. Youch. Ooh. Here comes war. Ooh, yeah, okay. Impossible. Abaddon. Uh, of course, that is Abaddon. The guy with the... Looks like a... Almost looks like a target over his eye. And war was called to this chaos because apparently the Seven Seal was broken. How did this happen? If you're watching the beginning of the video, you'd know what I was talking about. The Seven uh -oh. Seal was not broken. Okay, so the Seven Seal was not broken. That's not good. Uh oh, Abaddon. Abaddon, where are you going? Why are you being crushed? What in heaven's name have you oh, done? Shite. Answer the call. And it looked like he was losing some more power. Alright, so we're gonna have to fight this gigantor here. I don't know his name. I don't know the boss's name. You know, usually that's another thing about this uh this boss fight here, they don't tell you on who you're fighting here. I think it's uh, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what his name is. But he's got a few moves, a few things up his sleeve. First thing, he's throwing some uh, vehicles at you, so you want you, what you want to do is uh, pick it up, lock on, and throw it. Do that twice and run up to him. And sword him in the face. And then be careful, and then run like that. <laughs> he also will do this. Jump. And let us not forget this where I forgot to jump. <laughs> so, and then he also pounds his fist down, which you'll see a little tiny glimpse of. He did one per fist, he does. And then he goes back to and he'll throw some more cards. Do that a couple of times, depending on what difficulty you have it on. And uh, stab him in the eye and then go to kill him. And then, oh, nuts. Okay, so that, oh, crap. We lost more power. Okay, so we are coming to the end of this video, but we will be back in Darksiders Part 2, and I look forward to it. We are going to get through this game, and we're going to get through it quickly, because uh, Darksiders 2 is coming out soon, so we got to get it done. So, until the next time, boys and girls, this is Scyther4077 saying, take care and cheers, so long, and enjoy.